Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Welcome to episode 4 of my career mode in UFC. Now, David Carter has to go up against this scrub. Let's get it. So, check this out guys. It seems that the UFC is finally looking for some new talent. And it looks like I am on the list. Now, check this out. It seems that I have to fight this dude, yes the guy from the intro, I had no other choice. So it looks like we gonna go ahead and have to go to the octagon, put another person in the hospital because it's only one way I'm getting to that UFC baby and that's through every person I gotta fight. And right now man you guys see it's an easy path to the UFC. So I wanna invite you guys to my training camp, that's right. So check this out guys, I decided to do only one week of training camp. I didn't feel like spending too much money. If you guys watched my previous video, I spent way too much money training. I actually overtrained. If you guys missed that video, make sure you guys check that out in the annotation card above. Now for this, I wanna learn new move sets and a new perk. So it's telling me that I have to land 20 strikes and I can't miss 10 strikes. Now this is pretty easy because I am a 1-2 guy. I love to throw 1-2s. I love to throw 1-2-3s and 1-2-3-4s. So it really wasn't easy for me to get these 20 punches landed. I only missed one strike. Now to move on from this, I got Headhunter, Body Jab, and Superman Punch. Now with those punches and perk equipped, I'm going into this fight with only 80% fitness. The fight hype is very low because I'm not in the UFC right now. And I'm here to take this dude head off. Yes, I equipped that Superman punch. I need you guys to look for this Superman punch. All you're going to see is this Superman punch. I'm going to put this man down with a Superman punch. If you guys think I could do it, man, spam Superman on YouTube in the chat. Hey, I'm UFC President Dana White. And we're always looking for up-and-coming talent design. Back in the day, I used to scout the world looking for new talent. But I haven't done that in years. I'm looking for the next Ronda Rousey, the next Robbie Lawler, the next Conor McGregor. I'm looking for future champions. And I'm willing to go to any show, anywhere in the world to find them. Super excited about the talent on tonight's card. A lot of tough fighters. Let's see who really wants their shot at the UFC. All right, finally, Dana White is done talking, and it's time for me to get into hopefully my final WFA match. Now, we're going up against Jeffrey Lopez. I don't know where he's from, but that head tattoo you got, brother, is played out. Ain't nobody got no more head tattoos no more, fam. You need to go ahead and get that thing removed. What is wrong with you? But why did I start off on one side of the ring? And now I'm on the other side of the octagon. Come on, man. We got to do better, UFC. Now, oh, he's already trying to throw these little leads. Oh, nice little jab. Hold up, Superman punch. I told you guys I did add that to my arsenal. Uh, giving him a little bit of head movement. Not much is happening. Give him a little jab. Let me back up. Okay, there his nice little jab step in. All right. Yo, for whatever reason, I love the way my tattoos look, especially when I move. I don't know. I don't know. But look at them dreads, though. Them dreads look real good. Oh, the one, two, three. Now, what I can tell you guys is I did have to up the difficulty, man. Um, I think I'm going to have to play on pro from here on out, man. It seems like EA just doesn't give you that type of difficulty like on normal or anything like that. You have to play on pro and legendary. And the only way to unlock legendary is you have to become a GOAT in whatever uh, facet may be easy, normal, or pro. And the Superman punches are working pretty good. Leg kicks are working. But he's throwing these one shots, man. I'm really not a fan of this. Um, the crazy thing is, guys, I will fight this dude again in the UFC. Just to let you know, a little spoiler. So make sure you guys keep up with the series. Now, he goes in for a takedown. Pushes me up against the cage. I'll go ahead and defend that very nicely. Get out of that. Nice break. And I noticed with that body kick, I hit him with a counter. And it's Superman punch until he goes down. Now, I told you guys, man, whenever that Superman punch comes out, I'm going to finish the fight. So, for everybody who spammed Superman and YouTube inside the chat, I'm going to like your comment, reply to your comment, and thank you guys for having faith in me that I would take somebody out with this Superman punch. Man, I put that dude on his butt with that Superman punch. Look at that. Boom. Oh, my God. Woo. 
That thing was miraculous, man. Look at this dude all in the corner. Getting his elbow juice. <laughs> man, but that was a pretty easy fight, man. Like I told you guys, I got to up the difficulty. I seen a couple people in my last video like, hey, bro. The computer really ain't fighting back, man. Normals is just not good enough, man. You got to take it to pro. So, from here on out, guys, I need a challenge. I'm going to have to go ahead and up that. The pro, look at this, man. Total strikes was 12 strikes. What's the computer thinking, man? They was talking so much trash on Twitter. Talking about how I ain't going to make it to the UFC. How I'm so ass. But guess what? First round TKO. Two minutes and 37 seconds into the match. And, oh, y'all thought I forgot. For everybody who's been talking about the lion on my chest, talking about my tattoo, talking about it's making my lion look like a clown because I put my nipple right where his nose is at. Hey, man, y'all gonna stop killing my lion in the chat, man. Y'all better not try to make me get no tattoo removal, man. Speaking of which, guys, I want you to vote inside the chat right now. Should I take the lion off my chest or should I move the nipple off somewhere else? What should I do, guys? It's up to you, man. Go ahead and spam it in the chat. Remove the tattoo or keep the tattoo. Me, I'm leaning on the side of keeping the tattoo. I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to go ahead and take my little $1,600 and let Dana talk. That kid has a lot of talent and a lot of potential. We're going to do this. We're going to give him a shot in the UFC. All right. Now, with that being said. It looks like your boy has a contract coming up. Now, I have been getting a lot more social media praise as well as there are fighters and little MMA statistic staff or social media entities that don't want to see me succeed. That's all good, man. They can hate all day. They know who the GOAT going to be. You feel me? Now, moving on. Letting you guys know that Jeffrey Lopez, the person that I went up against, he said that he's going to see me again, which means that this is kind of scripted. I believe that whoever you pick as like your person that you want to have it out with, you're going to definitely fight this person. You're definitely going to have a social media presence with this guy. But I'm a rookie now. I'm getting $15,000 a fight, $10,000 extra dollars if I win the fight. Put my thumbprint on that. And yes, we got another trophy. I'm going to holler at y'all in the next one. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys definitely enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get this thing to 5,000 likes. And this is your boy IKC signing out. Peace.